Back when I drove to work, I knew it was commuting. Now that I own my own landscaping business, are there any benefits left for using my truck for business? I hear the new tax law got rid of the deductions for using my vehicle to drive to work. Well, that is not exactly the case. Yes, deductions for employees have been suspended. But as a business owner, you may have more benefits than you realize, David. If I could show you how to take a business deduction every time you drive away from the house for work, would you be impressed? More than impressed. Gabe, what secret magic trick do you have up your sleeve? Welcome back YouTube community. Gabe here. Last week, we talked about your YouTube business and the home office deduction. There is a secret to the home office deduction that will be very important in today's video. Today, I want to talk about business use of your personal vehicle. There are several benefits to using your vehicle still available in tax law. There are benefits for charitable use and medical use. However, today we will focus on business use. Shall we begin? So, David, tell us about your YouTube business. Sure. Gabe, my landscaping business has been doing well for years. Mostly I just take care of private homes. A couple of years ago I started doing gardening tutorials on YouTube. To be honest, it was really nothing serious. Not too long ago, a property manager saw one of my tutorials, and it led to a great new job doing an apartment complex. Now I make sure to mention my landscaping business in any gardening videos I create. I see. Tell me. What was your concern about mileage going to work? Well, I store my landscaping equipment in an industrial park a few miles away. Before I go to a job, I have to go pick up the equipment I will need. Then head out to the job. Isn't my drive to the equipment storage commuting? David, your business falls into a tax sweet spot. Let me tell you about the deduction for business use of your personal vehicle. Generally, a car or personal truck is considered listed property. Listed property is property that is used for both business and personal purposes, like a computer or automobile. If you use your car for business purposes, you may be able to deduct car expenses. You generally can use one of the two following methods to figure your deductible expenses. 1. Standard mileage rate. 2. Actual car expenses. In 2020, the standard mileage rate is 57.5 cents per mile. Mileage deductions for the use of your car as an employee, and reported as unreimbursed travel expenses, have been suspended for the tax years beginning after December 2017 and before January 2026. Travel to your business is considered commuting. Travel from your last client of the day back home is considered commuting. There is no tax deduction for commuting. Business travel begins when you travel from one place of business to another place of business or to your client site. Business travel also includes travel between two or more clients. I get that. But don't you need to have signage on your vehicle to prove that it's a business car? I'm not so sure my wife wants a bunch of stickers and work signage on all of our vehicles. There are plenty of ways to advertise your business and maintain the clean look your wife prefers. Removable magnet signs are one way. But the good news is that you do not need a bunch of signage just to prove you have business use. Let me share an example. As I mentioned before, travel between home and work is commuting, and is not deductible. Travel from your last client to your home is not deductible. In the case of that new weekly apartment client of yours, the distance of 5 miles between your home and storage is not deductible. The distance of 10 miles between your storage and the client is a business deduction. But the 15 miles you drive home is not. The 52 weeks a year you drive to that client comes to 520 miles. The current standard mileage rate is 0.575 per mile. Your annual business deduction is $299 per year. I mentioned that there are two methods you may use to figure your deductible vehicle expenses. 
The second method is to take the actual car expenses. Some of the items you may deduct are gasoline, repairs, insurance, registration fees, depreciation. Should you choose this method, you must report the total miles you drive each year. Then separate the miles you drive for business from the miles you drive for personal use. The percentage of business use can be applied to the actual expenses. You may refer to IRS Publication 463 for more discussion on travel, gift and car expenses. Gabe, didn't you say there was a secret method for deducting your commuting expenses? Did I miss something? Not at all. Let me share a technical item that may allow you to deduct far more than we previously calculated. You see, if you have an office in your home that qualifies as a principal place of business, you can deduct your daily transportation costs between your home and another work location in the same trade or business. But isn't claiming a home office complicated? Don't you have to figure out a percentage of rent, utilities, property taxes, etc.? Actually, for tax year starting in 2013, you may use the simplified method for calculating the home office deduction. In that case, you may take $5 per square foot of home office space up to 300 square feet. However, you still must meet the standards for claiming a home office. 1. Regular and exclusive use. And 2. Principal place of business. So David, can you meet those standards? I sure can. I have a home office set up already. I do all of my bookkeeping and organize my clients and jobs from that space. I even store my gardening video gear in my garage. Does that count? Yes. That will allow you to use the simplified method for your home office deduction on your business tax return. And that also will allow you to claim the full mileage deduction from your home office to your storage, and from your last client to your home office. Let me show you how that will work. In our prior example, you were only able to deduct the miles from your storage to your client. But now, you may deduct all of the miles driven between your home, your storage, your client and home again. That total of 30 miles a day times 52 weeks times 57.5 cents per business mile driven, gives you a total deduction of $897 for this one client. Wow! That is a huge difference. David, before I finish this subject, I must discuss substantiation. Substantiation? You mean keeping a log and such? Yes. In order to claim a deduction for business use, you need to keep a contemporaneous log. You must show the business use, the date of use and the client or business matter addressed. Substantiation rules can be found in IRS Code Section 274. D. There are great applications like Mobus and MileIQ. I've heard of MileIQ. Do I really need that? I sort of keep track of my client trips from my built-in calendar. What about when you go to the supply store for gardening supplies? Did you remember to log the last time you took your mower to the repair shop? And do you keep track when you meet clients for lunch? All of these are miles you may deduct the moment you leave your home. Gabe, you never cease to surprise me. I cannot believe I did not think about all the trips to Lowe's and Home Depot for supplies. I will get my IQ right away. I am glad we met today. Thank you for the great ways for me to take advantage of the vehicle business use deductions. It is my pleasure. Remember, you do not need to do the complicated calculations for your home office nor your vehicle expenses. The modified method for your home office deduction will be enough to qualify your home as a place of business. The mileage method will allow a quick calculation of the available expenses. And an application like MileIQ will keep the contemporaneous log you need to substantiate your deductions. Please note, there are several other issues pertaining to the business use of a vehicle. For example, the standard mileage method may only be taken for four cars. If you own five or more cars, you will need to deduct your actual expenses for business use. If you want to use the standard mileage rate for a car you own, you must choose to use it in the first year the car is available for use in your business. Then, in later years, you can choose to use either the standard mileage rate or actual expenses.
Please refer to Revenue Proc 2019-46 and IRS Code Section 274-D regarding substantiation. Please review IRS Publication 463 for these and more details on claiming deductions for business use of your vehicles. Please use this information for educational purposes. Consult your tax professional or attorney for further guidance in your specific situation. I hope what I shared can help you better understand your YouTube business and the deduction for business use of your vehicle. Please leave any questions in the comments section below. Let me know if there is a subject you would like to see a video on in the coming weeks. Please like and subscribe with a click to the thumbs up below. Have a great week. See you next week with more tips for your YouTube business. Cheers.